Dear friends, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another episode of The Adventures of Flat Jesus. I'm Pastor Kelly Ann, and it is a delight to be with you today. So, did you just see that video? The video of the beach? And did you see Flat Jesus? I bet you did. Well, I just got back from a little vacation. I went to the beach in North Carolina, a place called Emerald Isle, and it was magnificent. I love getting my toes in the sand. And being at the beach reminds me of God's love. And today, I have a story that's going to talk about just that. Now let's get started. The Boy in the Ocean by Max Licardo. The little boy rolled over in his bed and opened his eyes. Through his window, he could see the ocean. Big and blue rolling waves, water crashing on the beach. The little boy stood at the window and searched for the end of the ocean. He couldn't see it. He could see the ships on it. He could see the birds above it. He could see the horizon stretched across it. But the little boy couldn't see the end of it. He couldn't see the end of the ocean.
Would you like to play in the ocean? his mother asked. The little boy stood on the edge of the water with his mother. She took his hand and they waded into the surf. When the water covered his feet, he looked up at her. When it reached his knees, he took a breath and squeezed her hand. And when the wave rushed against his chest, she laughed and he did too. The two sat in the sand and let the waves splash around them. God's love is like the ocean, my little boy, she said. It is always there. It is always deep. It never ends. God's love is special. The little boy spent the day playing near the ocean. He counted starfish, he built sand castles, he searched for shells, but most of all, he watched the ocean. He could see the clouds above it, he could feel the tide within it, he could taste the salt inside it, but he could never see the end of it. He could never see the end of the ocean. That night, as the moonlight stretched across the sea and landed on his face, he listened to the waves slap, slap, slap against the sand. Go to sleep, my little boy, his mother whispered. The ocean will not leave. The ocean will not change. The ocean is like God's love. Always here, always deep. It never ends. God's love is special. And so the boy slept with the sound of the ocean in his ears. Such a beautiful painting, don't you think? The next day he ran on the beach and swam in the water. He chased his puppy up the mountain trail and looked for flowers. And when the day ended, he and his parents laid on the grass and looked at the night sky. Stars everywhere, twinkling, shimmering, diamonds in the dark. He looked as far as he could to see the end of the sky, but he could not see it. He could not see, he could see the moon, yellow and round. He could see the clouds, puffy and flat. He saw a star race from one side of the sky to the other, but he could not see the end of the sky. Would you like to count the stars, his mother and father asked. So they tried. A dozen over there, two dozen over there. There were too many stars. When he reached a hundred, the boy looked up at his mother. When the wind turned chilly, his father held him close. His parent looked up, looked up into the big sky and became quiet. And so did he for a while. But then the boy spoke. God's love is like the night sky, he told them. It's always there. It's always big. It never ends. God's, God's love is special. The boy and the mother and the father stayed for a long time near the ocean, close near the ocean, beneath the sky, surrounded by God's love, and they smiled. Now, isn't that such a special story? It teaches us about God's love. And I wonder if you've thought about God's love at the ocean or looking under the night sky. Maybe you're going to get to do one of those things this summer. I sure hope you do and wonder about God's love. But remember, God's love is always there. It's always deep. It's always big. It never changes. God's love is special. So special, in fact, that God sent Jesus, his son, so that we would know him and have eternal life through his gift 
of life. We'll never be separated from God's love through Jesus Christ. Flat Jesus went on an adventure to the beach, and I hope you get to go on an adventure. And remember, I sure would like to see your Flat Jesus pictures and where he's been with you. Please do send them in. And that's it for today. Until next time, same time, same bat place. Bye-bye.